Hi folks, my name is J.M. Erlinson and I'm, I'm a transformation engineering lead here at Software AG and a specialist in the Eris product. And today we're doing another Eris demo video, helping to show you some of the value and the possibilities with the Eris tool set. And today, and for this session, we're gonna be talking about creating model variants. Now, while it's certainly possible to create model variants here in Eris Connect, I'm gonna do something a little bit more advanced here in Eris Architect to give you some ideas on what's possible and what's specific about creating model variants and what we can do with the objects as you create model variants. Now, to do that, in a previous video, I've created a reporting as is model. Now, I'm gonna create a to be model today, but I wanna make sure that I've got this linkage between my as is and my to be. So I'm gonna create what we call a variant. Now, a variant is just like creating a definition copy as in a brand new object and model not not linked and dependent on the other objects or models that it came before except here's one exception if i do reporting bracket to b you can see that i'm actually going to copy it over but create a little bit of a link and that link is called the is variant of link now that the variant link doesn't really mean anything um, in, in terms of if i update the as is the to b is not going to change except for one important factor, which is it lets us understand the lineage of processes. And so I can see and quickly compare, which we'll show you at the very end, between two different processes. So to create a variant, I'm gonna right click and drag from one to the other and say, create variant here. As a note for you in Eris Connect, that's also possible. You can use this, the variant creation function in the repository, and you'll see uh, you have the opportunity to create variants. Um, so I can create a variant over here. Now, the, however, I'm gonna use architect because there's some, something, something that I wanna highlight here about creating a variant in architect. So let's create a, create a variant over here. <clears throat> and it's gonna pop up a window here. Remember these different steps and roles and events and things like that? I can choose which variants I would like to create that are the same object as in a current copy and which uh, in my new variant model is gonna be a brand new object as in a definition copy. Um, so right now we see everything is gonna by default be new. All of these are simply occurrences of uh, the, the or sorry, uh, uh, definitions of the objects, but with is variant of relationships. But that's not, not actually the case. I don't wanna create a variant of my role. I'm gonna use an occurrence of my role. It's the same role, just using my, my role, I'm gonna do it in, in a different context. Um, similarly, I have the same start and end events. I, I want to just use occurrence copies. I'm going to create variants for three of my functions. So these are going to become brand new functions. I'm going to reuse a shared service of procedure running and then create a brand new, brand new uh, validation of data. I hit OK and, and, and Eris will work for a second and create a new model for me. Now the model will look well, essentially the same as my as is. I'm going to change the name of it to 2B so I can remember. Um, but what you're gonna see here is this model has now a special relationship on it. If I open up my properties and I can, I can see uh, I've got uh, my model over here that has a variant relationship with my as is of the type master. So it's the master and you can see, oh, well my reporting and analyst do I have any variants of that? Well, I, I do, I have a 2B variant of that. Do I have a submission start variant of that? I do not. So you can see by not by reusing models, by, by reusing objects, uh, I can choose which things are created again, which things are, are brand new. Um, and, and that's really important because now if I wanna change things, like for instance, my run procedure is gonna be the same, but my generate report is a little bit different. So if I change generate report, here is a new one. In my as is, which I, which I have back here, you'll see that hasn't actually changed. It's gonna be the same, but if I were to change my run procedure, which is located in both those, well, this can't be new because if I save that, you'll see, oh my goodness, it's changed in both my as is and to be. So I'm actually gonna un undo that and my run procedure is going to remain the same. I'm gonna use that existing object run procedure. <clears throat> so very, very powerful um, to be able to create those variants. Now the other thing that variants do is it makes it very fast for you to compare models to each other. So let me make a couple of changes in my model. Remember that 
The reporting analyst is the same, the start and the end are the same, the run procedure is the same, but these three are a little different. So I've got here's a new one. I've got it, instead of ingesting data, I'm gonna be automatically pulling data, and I'm gonna turn this into a service task. Um, and then I'm gonna add a lane over here. So I'm gonna add in a system lane, and I'm actually gonna move this whole thing down. So I'm gonna actually automatically pull data from my system and I'm gonna reuse a system here. Let's, let's use my uh, pro, uh, uh, let's, just, let's just use pro order. Here is my, my new system. And I'm gonna save this model and now I'm gonna compare an automatic pull versus a manual pull. And this is gonna be a validation. This is gonna be, a, instead of validating data, I'm just gonna check the data. Uh, pulled data. There we are. Save this model up. And now I've, now I've got the ability to quickly compare between one model and the other using that variant relationship. So I'm gonna go up to, over here to my contents and say compare models. I'm gonna choose the master model and variance of that selected model. Go over here to my reporting as is, which is my master. Hit finish. And now I'm gonna see a side by side comparison. You'll note that hey, I didn't used to have this, and oh, there's a bunch of things changed. This used to be called uh, ingesting data, now it's to be called automatically pulling data, and checking pull data, and then this, this here's the generate report. And so I can compare these two models to each other dynamically, seeing what's been removed, what's been added, and ultimately being able to bring things together. And that's why we use variant relationships. It keeps a track and it keeps uh, put together all models from all over the place, allowing you to see how they change over time, over variations of geography, and ultimately making comparisons and analyses so I can figure out, well, the best way to go and how to get there. And that's using variants. Once again, I'm J.M. Erlinson. It's a pleasure to talk with you. This is part of the ERIS series of tutorials, and we hope to see you in the next one. Please feel free to share, like, and comment as much as you can. I'd love to find out what you want to know more about and make them for you in subsequent videos. Thanks so much for your time. We'll see you next time.